Welcome to the channel everybody, this is Hardware Despair, my name is Ryan and today we are playing Dwarf Fortress and as you can see we're looking at our wonderful stockpile here, it is immense, we've got thousand food, over a thousand food, we need more drink but uh, I think we've got that set up, we did start to install a second still here in last episode, uh, but more importantly back down here we've got a whole bunch of coal going so that's great, charcoal, our wood burner's doing good. Uh, I've got uh, more rooms being built so we can extend this. I think I've got two more furnaces set up to be working because we need to utilize some of that coal and make more metal. We need more metal and I'm going to add some more wood burning down here. I think I'd like to extend this stockpile too a little bit. The wood, although they're keeping up with it pretty well. I shouldn't necessarily complain. Let's not just adjust things right now if they're not if they're still if they are working properly, you know. Oh, look, we've got the platinum armor stands complete. Very good, very good. Let's pay a visit down there to that level here. So this is where our Baroness is going to be living. She's got the platinum stuff going on. Said he finished the, the cabinets there. Let's see here if we can't find that other platinum cabinet to go right there. No? Well, one of them must have it in their hand or something. Be carrying it around. But let's uh, let's check for a chest. I did order two chests as well. Can we get a platinum chest? Oh, we got a... Nope, there's no chest available. We have a petition. Purposes of entertaining, sure, sure. We can't give out too many rooms, though, because we don't. I don't think we even have enough beds for our current dwarves, but uh, we're working on it. We're getting there. I do have more being dug out, more rooms, space. Not a lot, but some rooms are being dug out. All right, let's keep focused on this down here. Now, it did say the armor stand and weapon rack, not the cabinet, didn't it? So it was one of the military pieces. Do we have... I'll put it right here. No, it must have been the armor stand. All right, no worries. We'll find it. Whoops. Uh, we do have one, but I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> well, looks like our squads are successfully training in alternating months here. So you can see that occasionally some guys will come in here to put away their armor stuff or put away things from their chest. Uh, but these guys are currently training right now over here on this left side. They're active here. That's pretty sweet. Uh, in one of these rooms, I've got another barracks here, another one here. I think we're going to set up a uh, archery range, maybe either here or maybe down at this end of the hall. But yeah, we're going to need, I think the next thing, since we have two metal units now, we're going to go for a ranger unit with uh, some crossbow people. That's going to be equally important for defending our colony. Oh, check it out, guys. I was just looking at our screw press, and it says press honey from honeycomb right there. So that's perfect. Now, my question is, do we have honey listed here? I don't know if that's in this category. Oh, gosh, it's going to show me every honey in existence here, isn't it? Um, plant extract from animal. That's got to be it, right? Yeah, pressed material. We'll also put... Um, no, we won't put that there, but... Uh, I'm just going to assume, yeah, there it is, bumblebee honey, honeybee honey, perfect, perfect, okay, because that's what we want, I want it to be kind of situated close by, because our press is right here, that's nice, and I just ordered the cairn built, I forgot we had made one of those early, but uh, yeah, somebody's taking a long time to build the still here, it's got me nervous about the brewers, I'm thinking I might go through, oh, the mayor's ended a mandate, nice, uh, I might go through and look at our kitchen, or our brewery dwarf, and our kitchen dwarf. Make sure that there's a couple of those guys active and available. Okay, well, I just went in and I selected two more brewers, and I'm going to add one more cook. Now, the, one of the brewers, I said, specializes now. He's just going to be a brewer. But uh, that should help out, because I just, drinks are getting really low. This is, I think, the lowest we've been since we started. So I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. And there's no reason for it. It's just lazy dwarves. No, I'm kidding. It's probably just uh, he's been overwhelmed here. This is, oh, that's the kitchen. Uh, let's see. Here's the still. Make mead, brew drink from plant. I want another work order here. Uh, we have brew drink from fruit, so that's good enough. But I'm going to sit here and wait for somebody to get in here and do this because this is a big priority for me. Well, well, well. We've made some pretty good progress over here. Uh, this is the Baroness's dining hall right now. I've added a couple statues here. You can see we're moving more of the stuff in. That's more of the platinum stuff. But also, I set up two of our little display pedestals right here. And I put uh, the figurine, which is the legendary one, and the crown on display here in her dining hall. 
Oh yeah, so that should make her quite happy indeed. Let's check it out and see how she feels about that. Oh yes, her dining hall and her room are now top notch. Oh, but I forgot she needs an office too. Okay, and oh, okay, yeah, I've also got a sterling silver casket or sarcophagus setting up for her. Now for that, um, I don't know if we want to just put it out here generally. Let me see if we actually have any more of these. Um, we might dig her yeah we don't we might dig a little room just for her right up here on top so let's set that as a priority yeah that kind of works out we can do something like this nothing nothing huge you know just a few statues and a sarcophagus right there we'll put hers right in the middle some statues on all four corners that should be good enough for her and let's go back down to the rooms here yes very nice very nice so i just want to sit here and lovingly stare at these things um i thought I think we had something else made too, but I can't... Oh, it was a set of greaves. That's right. Um, I don't know how to display those. Maybe with an armor rack? Or armor stand? I don't see a way to do that. But um, yeah, maybe I just put it on a pedestal too. But there is a third item we could possibly display. Okay, well, this is interesting. I was thinking, why build her a brand new office when we could probably just overlap this as the office? Um, but what's interesting is when I did that, it took it down. Uh, so I did overlap it, and I assigned it. It's got a dual function here, and we can switch from unnamed office to unnamed dining hall there, both assigned to the Baroness. But now when we go in and look, not both the office and the dining hall are satisfied, but the dining hall is no longer green. That's interesting. It means it's been brought down and like, I don't know, we need to beef it up, make it make it look even nicer. I mean, we will. Maybe I will get another pedestal in action here and put it there. But uh, look, even the willow, willow pedestal is a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay, well, while we're down here on the, uh, the barracks level or the bedroom level here, we are going to establish a really nice inn here. So I'm going to get all these tables and chairs filled up and what we're going to do is get like a poet and a dancer maybe and of course a bartender all assigned to this one big room here we're going to turn it into a nice nice and i think that yeah if we if i zone it big enough will attract some seriously interesting visitors and stuff like monster slayers now another thing we need to do is open up the caverns before we i think we'll get monster slayers but yeah we can uh hopefully have uh pretty nice fortress going we'll see we'll see what kind of people we get to come by okay well we've had another withdraw from society here it's one of our recruits let's uh let's go to him all right he's somewhere i'm not sure where let's just keep an eye here on our stuff there he is right there okay i think it's this he's claimed yep yep so he's claimed the craft dwarf now that could be a lot of different stuff we'll see i'm gonna keep an eye on it hopefully he'll just start working furiously and he doesn't end up needing something we don't have but we'll see shortly okay zephon is working secretly so we should be in business now who knows how long that'll take but uh yeah things are looking pretty good we've got a whole ton of coal so it's i think it's about time yeah, we set up some new smelters here. I'm not sure if we have enough dwarves for that job, but I might have to go into the labor tab and check it out. First of all, first of all let me set up some specific work orders here. Well, you know what? I'm sitting here assigning different stuff to the smelter, and I realized, I think I screwed it up last time. We talked about making coke from bitumous fuel and lignite. As though that was what we needed to make steel for uh, the flux stone, which is what the steel bar is requiring. That's not right. I'm pretty sure this co that's not what we need. We don't need coke from that. So I've canceled those orders. I've just got them smelting fuel or bars and stuff. What we need is to actually find the flux stone layer. And I don't know what it could be. There are certain kinds of stone that are considered flux stone. I think marble is one of them. I might be wrong now. I'm just trying to go off my previous old school playthrough remembrances here. So uh, I'm going to have to I probably look it up and see what is considered flux stone. And then we'll search very thoroughly down here for that. And we're going to get some steel production going. Well, it said calcite, chalk, limestone, and marble. And, and I think a couple other ones. But here's limestone right here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order some priority one can we dig i think this only dig gem yeah that won't work so we just need to come down here and manually get them to dig this out but that's not a problem we should have some flux down here 
Once they dig this out and start getting chunks of limestone, let's see, we're going to go back and check to see if we can make steel bars because we have plenty of iron sitting around. Okay, well now you can see when I come through the smelter here, it says make pig iron bars. That's now available. And down here where it says steel, it no longer says needs flux zone. Now it says needs pig iron bars. So that's the next step to making steel. And we're going to get that going full time. Actually, I think I'll probably set a work order for it. Might as well. Because we are now that we've got it correct here, we're going to get some serious steel production going for real. Yeah, we're going to switch out all that iron armor stuff that's nice, but uh, we'll eventually get it all switched out. We're going to start with weapons, so I think steel weapons will be the first step. Okay, well, we the beekeeper has created a turkey bone ring. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. Awesome. So we've got another legendary item to uh, install somewhere. I decided to go ahead and just make her a separate office. I think that'll probably be the best bet. We can spruce it up with some different stuff, too. Now we have two more legendary items to uh, to show off anyway. Okay, guys. Well, I have actually ordered some chains to be made up here, some iron chains. And what we're going to do is we'll pop back down here real quick. In addition to our burial chambers and sarcophagus, we're going to have a jail down here on this level. So we'll put a door here, and then we'll put a door in each one of these. These will be a cell. So we'll have a door, uh, a bed, a chain... Actually, we don't need a bed, do we? Uh, we don't have to put one in there. We just need a chain. I think we can put buckets in there too. I can't remember, but we need a chain in case dwarves act up or need to be arrested and administer justice. Then we need a jail for that. Let's look at this petition here. Uh, da -da -da, entertaining. Yeah, we're going to take another entertainer, but probably hold off after that. Because, I, like I said, I don't want to fill up too many bedrooms with non-dwarf characters. <laughs> so we've got some stuff here. Suspended. Resume, please. Anyway, I'm definitely going to lay this out here. I think I might just take out these walls. I was thinking of leaving them, but, yeah, I don't really like the way they're looking. We'll get the, rid of those. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put statues and everything in here, make it look real nice. Of course, we're getting more chests built, too, so that's going in. I did decide to separate and do an office here specifically for her. So let's set that up. Boom. Very good. Very good. Accept and put the mayor in there or the baroness in there. Good. Now let's check her, her little screen out. Ah, see, now they're all in green. Yeah, she doesn't really like to keep, to, to, I think, to have both of them. I think it'll work technically, but she likes a separate one. So that's pretty good. Now we do have the pedestals here. So I'm going to go ahead and see there was a pair of greaves, wasn't it? And a ring. So can we find those? There's coins. <laughs> Don't have any of those. Let's see. Earrings. No. Um, ring. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Let's put that there. And over here, I'm going to look for a pair of greaves. Okay, here it is, right down here at the very bottom, the rounded goose bone greaves. I uh, found those under leg wear, of course, so we're going to select those. Beautiful. Now those should be brought right down here very shortly. Oh, what is this? Which is too entertaining? No. No, I'm sorry. No more. Like I said, we've reached our limit for now, maybe in the future. We're having babies and puppies galore. Oh, we got visitors. Nice. Everything's coming together quite well, quite well. So... Yeah, the Baroness should be satisfied as soon as I can get that freaking coffin placed. It's taken her forever to build the sterling silver, silver coffin. Let's see if they've got it finally. Burial, sarcophagus, please. No, gosh, okay. I need to do something about this. Where is it? It's right there. I don't know what's going on with our manager. He's not setting that up. Also, I'm going to start working on some bookcases. I think we're going to get like a library set up so that we can get some scholars working, maybe craft our own books and poems and scrolls and stuff. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. But uh, you can see I got a bunch of rock grates. So I think it's time, yeah, to get back up here and place some more of them. Now, it looks like I think some of that collapsed. <gasps> I think it did because we... Oh, I had a whole row of it right here, but that collapsed. Oh my gosh. So I probably need to throw down some supports there or something. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there are supports we can build here. Let's see. That's under construction. Support. Supports will stop cave-ins in the rare event you completely detach a piece of your fortress. Otherwise, they're ornamental. I don't know if they're going to work for this purpose, but we're going to find out. I guess I'll put one 
like right here. Let's just do them out of wood because our stone guys have a lot of stuff going on. All right, I don't know. This will work, but we're going to try it here. This is all new to me, and it's an experiment, so we'll see how things go. Now, if I go back to the surface and try and place those again, I'll be interested to see. Yeah, once that's done. Hmm. Uh, this is kind of why I was doing it slowly, you know. Otherwise, we would have never been able to place these crates at all. Or these w wooden floor grates. Uh, and it makes sense now, too. You can't really have them hanging over the edge there without being supported by something. I just hope that uh, we don't have to build a support under each and every single one of them. Is that how it's going to be? Ugh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. Well, bad news. Unfortunately, I was just sitting here playing, and yeah, the game crashed. I lost all my saved progress up and since the last time it auto-saved, which was, I guess, this season right now. You can see here, we haven't even, uh, haven't even collapsed the floors yet, uh, so we've, I haven't even covered it up. And if we go down here, the worst part of it is I haven't barely done anything for her room now, so i got to go through all that nonsense again. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate, but uh, yeah, game crashes are a real deal, unfortunately. Let's just see. I mean, we can get caught up again. I just need to go back through here. Yeah, shoot. I don't even have... Boy, this is basically the beginning of the episode all over again. <laughs> We've just uh, time traveled backward in time, sadly. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, I got into the uh, whole ordeal of redoing everything we just did, and I got a little discouraged. I'm not giving up by any means. I'm just going to take a break, call it quits for this episode. It's a little bit shorter than I would have liked, but uh, I think we learned some valuable stuff, so I don't want to just discard the whole thing. But I appreciate everybody watching. Don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to have a brand new episode up, and I'm going to leave it all caught up to wherever we were. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.